difficult. That second jump is definitely a woo doozy for, for Lynx. Yoshi comes back to some of the depth of hell, man. That carry, that dinosaur is the demon. He even has Akuma's pose. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> I don't know that, that actually upsets me. It Why does Yoshi get it? <laughs> I want to see Pichu in that pose. See, that'd be pretty cool. It'd be pretty cool. I mean, I wish I, I wish we had Akuma in the game as like a as an Echo Fighter of some sort or like an alternate skin, but. What a world we live in just to have all the characters we do have in this game in general. True, and we're getting six more. Yeah. One of which has already been uh, somewhat announced, which I think it's supposed to be released this month. So well, if you're all ready for some arms hype, no? I'll definitely, I'll, I'll definitely have, say you have, this. You have conflicting information? I have breaking, well, break, somewhat breaking news, just news in general. Um, the character was slated for June to be announced and released, I'm assuming, but as of this or this or last month there has been no confirmation and rumors there are rumors going around that there will be no nintendo direct during the month of e3 thus nintendo will skip another month without a proper nintendo direct meaning the character could have been pushed to july so there, there are a lot of rumors information circling that says the character might be pushed to july alongside with the nintendo direct I mean, we can still get a Smash Direct like they've done in the past, so we'll see how that goes. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get a Smash Direct. been pretty good to, to Smash Brothers in the Smash series, Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. You know, constantly providing update content. Uh, so even if they push it out, I'm cool with it. They already put Terry Bogart in the game, so what more do we need? Yeah. What more can I we ask for? We got Terry Bogart. I do think we can still see a Smash Direct, just only Smash in June, just, you know, do the same typical thing that Sakurai usually does, right? Go over the character, talk the character, the history, why he picked the character, information on arms, you know, go into depth in depth with the character. But like a proper direct where Nintendo announces Breath of the Wild 2, Metro Prime 4, and I hope someone's hearing out me out there, Nintendo, maybe Bayo 3, we probably won't see that. Uh, until, like, get it out of here. Nope, no Bayo 3. We, we, won't, we won't see that until No the Bayo 3, no Bayo buffs, that character, leave it in the gutter. <laughs> Well, I'm glad we can see uh, Gale's dark pick here. At least something for me to definitely hold on. Maybe not the word B, but with the word G. And you know, now that I think about it, like it makes a little bit of sense that uh, Gale would pick Pit here because he's going up a grapple like DK. He's going to need a little bit more speed. He's going to need a reliable projectile and that super armor on side B to help him get back. The super like, armor, the, the neutral air, the overall speed. The knockback, Pit has a lot of the tools, but yeah, you can definitely say he's a little bit too honest. But when it comes to a character against DK, like he definitely seems to really excel with the consistent string of neutral airs. Not only that, the small disjoints that he does have. True, and of course he's gonna have access to the orbiters to allow him or to assist him in landing, which I, we've seen Gao really abuse. But if there, I think that there's gonna be one player who like attempts to break those orbiters, that shield. Uh, it's gonna be Johnny. Yeah, definitely. He have, DK does have the damage output to break the Orinars, and if they do break, he does suffer a little bit of, um, I would say stun. He suffers a little bit of stun when they're broken, but only that like, you can't use the Orinars for a set amount of frames, which amounts to seconds. I think it's something like three seconds or four. Yeah, isn't he, does it act like a shield break? Yeah, it does. It, it doesn't necessarily stun him for that long, but there, you know, Pit has like a bit of a, of a moment where he has realized, like, oh, the orbiters are broken, and I can't use them. His nothing was touching him. How did he get hit by that? Character cheats, man. Tell me. Like, Character. I don't even think Gale hit a button so that he could, quote, extend his hurt box. Like, he straight up, DK swung his head and Pit ended up in the ground. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it, it, I, I, I feel like the hit, I haven't seen the hitbox. I'll definitely look a little bit more into you guys after the match. But I feel oh. like the hitbox is a little bit disjointed. Well, that's a good answer from Gayo. Landing a down air doesn't have too much knockback, but uh, DK doesn't have a lot of vertical recovery on the up B. Nope. So it was really just enough. Ooh, sniping out the second jump too, putting Johnny right back on the ground and now landing an F-Smash. Okay, 
Okay, we're starting to see the side beast come out from Johnny. Gao should know what to look for. Look, there's yeah. another one. 110 percent here. I'm seeing Gao just pretty much play as cautiously as much as possible. Back throw off the stage. Really good attempt there for the arrow snipe. He does use that jump to try to get a spike here. And another up air is gonna connect. And of course, there the orbers. That's unfortunate. It let, it messed up the uh, the spacing for a grab. Yeah. And they do have a push effect, actually. So if a character does have a like a recovery per se, like hit, or you would say Arsene, Joker for Arsene, you can actually push them away from the recovery with the Guardian Arbitars. That is very popular. Yeah, Fox I know some fire. cheese that, that used to happen uh, back in Smash 4 was that Little Mac would try and side B to the stage, and Pit would just run off and down B the Orbiters, and Little Mac would just die. Poor Little Mac. Yep, poor Little Mac. I can't confirm that the side special that DK does have has a small bit from what I was looking at here of uh, using the un uh, ultimate frame data. Down. Okay, 206%. There's still not enough to take the stock at 21%. I don't. Okay, wow. Standing up B almost. almost just armored through that entire. entire nair. Yeah. Of course, for those of you guys wondering how that would work. Um, the way the armor works is only in the percent like damage base. So if you do meet within a certain threshold of percent, you are able to go through most armors in the game. A really good example would be, as we saw with DK Spinning Kong, but also with Snake, uh, I believe it's Snake Cypher. So Gay will take game one, and this is going to be our first best of five for the night. Uh, let's see. These... Mm, I'm not... I know Gayo has like eight characters in play, but I'm, I'm not expecting a character switch. Yeah. Let's keep the disjoints out, continue to use the projectile to keep Johnny at bay, and then make Johnny fish for those... Mm -hmm. those conversion Three, moves like side B. Two, one, mm -hmm. go. It's really good that Gayo just knows, like, as long as I am punishing him accordingly for trying to go for a ground move or an aerial move. My neutral air is out there as fast as possible. I have forward air, but also the way to feel like, like, see what I'm saying? Like he tried to make an approach, punish with neutral air, and then get some percent in here. Really good burst damage. Wow, if that was a play, Gail, you've earned yourself a Twitch clip for that. Yeah, great combo from Gail. What an amazing start. Nair's gonna put Johnny off stage again, and we can see another side beat. No drop down with the down air. Uh, not gonna find his connection though. But still, wow. Gale did so much damage. Yeah, he did. He did. One, one, two, many back airs. Still survived. Of course, he's got the goddess's wings, of course, to be able to fly around. Multiple jumps. This is gonna be no punish though. With his up bees. These armor moves really need to come in clutch for Johnny. Yeah. That's what he's relying on. So what I'm seeing here from the ultimate frame data here is that the armor does not start until frame five and to 17, and then has about a two frame delay before the next part of the armor start. So it looks, it looks like Gale is actually able to call out those first five frames before the armor starts to punish them accordingly. Good side special that does take care of Johnny, and now Gale with pretty much a three stock lead. Yeah, looking very dominant here in winter semis. Those orbiters are gonna eat up a majority of the up the up beef from from Johnny. Yeah, and they didn't break, they just go away after like about two seconds, and that's how they normally work. You can't just hold them forever for the entire something like you would say a fox's reflector. Miss grab here. So I'm seeing Gale play pretty safe 129, slowly climbing up the percent. I like the fact that he waited for him after the directional air dock. Who wants this three stock? You can see him really working for it. Johnny swinging with back ears. Back air does connect, but still not enough to kill from across stage. Another side B that's gonna put uh, Johnny, but up tilt from Johnny is gonna change up the stock. No three stocks for Gale. Yeah, still has a pretty powerful lead though, 111%, two fresh stocks. But hey, man, you can't sleep on any DK. They do rack up the percent pretty fast. He's already put himself at 44. Sorry, 54% within two seconds. Climbing up to 60, Gale doing an excellent job. He immediately calling up the aerial. I mentioned it earlier, Gale loves those callouts. These, you know, these, these hops above, above Johnny, you know, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. Yeah, 
And then I mentioned it earlier, too. DK can make the comeback. He has the damage output. He has the weight. Down smash, not enough. Even at one, he's now at 170. He can fail. Finish the game before Johnny is able to start a little bit too much longer. 180. Good parry. And there it's a clash with an arrow. Okay, good roll past, past Gayo. Now we're seeing a couple up airs. Oh, okay. Uh, Johnny tried to do a call out with a directional air dodge behind him. Didn't get it. But at the same time, you know, that was that was a good it was a good attempt. Fourth row. This could possibly be the stock. Yep, it is. I was gonna say I usually get those percents for a throw for dark pick and pick. Is usually the kill option at higher percents or at the ledge. But good stuff from Gale recognizing like that back air to actually be able to guardian orbitar it was super crucial because it could have killed with max ridge DK. And not only that, it would have set him up in a position to be really tough at off stage. Though Johnny, like I mentioned earlier, like the way that DK works is having so much weight, having so much rage, having so much damage up for a heavy. It can be really scary, even if you like Gale, you have a stock lead. Zephyr, you alive? No. Oh, I was like, I thought he was, I thought he was gone. I was like, no, he's back to him. No, um, <laughs> I wanted to. There was something that was being reported incorrectly. I just wanted to look at it really quick. But no, I'm still here, and of course, the action continues with Gayo and Johnny. No, no character switches. Surprising. Oh, and if the if a uh, pit side beat did not have armor, that would have been so hyped. Yeah, but like you mentioned earlier, like the fact that he does have, have armor with side special, that allows him to survive. And Gale is never afraid to go for that side special for a recovery when he's in the right positioning. And the way that he kind of waits to go, I mean, I'm not sure if it's just him waiting. I would have to definitely ask him or Kara. But the way that he seems to be going, it's enough to avoid pit having his hurt box when he tries to go for the side special. Unfortunately, though, he re-grabbed the ledge and he lost it with the down special. So if we tried to grab it, the stock was going to be gone either way. Core carrying Johnny. Only not taking too much damage along the way, though. Yeah, 31%. That's really good from Gale. He's not panic jumping. He's kind of just like, okay, I'm taking my hit. I'm DI'ing away. So I can probably punish him afterwards. If I jump, I might lose the stock. Nice. Kind of changing the timing of the mash there. Only simply because like if you match out properly, Johnny was gonna get the punish after the mash out. Uh saw a spike from the DP. down air. See Johnny mix up his landing options. We see him use like, especially in neutral, try and land on top of Gayo with the side B. And, and okay, there it is again. But the quickest up smash doesn't wait for Gayo to mash at all. Get that stock out of here. Look at that. We have a very close game three. Yeah, it's Gayo's game to lose, honestly, and Johnny's game to possibly take it. I mean, he's been doing a pretty good job so far, giving it close. Yeah, but mixing up his timing on the landing, that's really what is going to determine if uh, Gayo is able to catch on. Oh, and there we go again, just unleashing the punch in the incorrect direction. Yeah, and I feel like that might have been a, a, mix, uh, a mess up there simply because of the way that I saw Garden Orbiter actually push him just a little bit away, so I don't know that played a little bit too much of a factor because I know how that can happen. Good double parry there coming up from Gale immediately with the neutral air. Playing as, as safe as possible. Good cross up on the dash attack. True. The damage just continues to rise on both players getting caught with an up air. And Gale is going off stage trying to, trying to poke with these back airs but does not find one. Dash attack connects. Johnny off stage once again. Yeah, Gale's gonna play this a little bit safe here. I would li I like the down air out of the shield. Doesn't go for a grab. I felt like he wanted to go for a punish. Really good spacing away from the ledge. He sets himself up for an opportunity to go for a pivot grab or any sort of whip punish on DK's landing. It was making the right place here, but Johnny is not too far behind. Just literally, if DK sneezes on Dark Pit, he might lose the stock. Forward throw, not enough. 181 forward throw from Gayo and just getting poked with double arrows. Is that going to be on the snipe? It is! What? Yep. 
The sniper from the nice try. basement. That was a really good play. He knew he had a 